Hey guys, in this video we'll see how to create a neon text effect in Filmora. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then do hit the subscribe button and follow for more Filmora and video editing related tutorials. So let's get started with the tutorial. As you can see, I've already already added a media in the bin. So let me just drag this into the timeline. So what this media is basically is a back black background which i am using uh, in front of uh, behind the text and the text will be in front of this so i am using this black background because uh, a darker background would give a better neon text effect so if you are creating a neon text effect make sure that you are using it against a darker background uh, so this image is where i have taken from free pick which is uh, one of the biggest sources of um, illustration vector files and some amazing images so as you can see this is not in the uh, 16 by 9 ratio so let me just fix this so what i will do i will double click and then uh, once double click i will go inside transform and then transform i will scale it and once it is uh, in the ratio i will click on ok so now let's add uh, some text in this uh, video so i will drag this drag this text so as you can see text has been added so i'll go and click on neon and i will increase the size to 150 okay so this is my text i will align it so as you can see this is a very bold text uh, and for a ne neon effect neon text effect we want a very thin uh, text font so what i will do I will go and select on Roboto Thin. So this is one of the thinnest uh, font that I know. So you can explore this uh, 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 font from over here, or you can go on the web and check for more fonts. Uh, if you have, if you find something thin enough, then you can use it. So once we are done with the selecting the font, what we'll do, we'll go to Advanced, and here is the main part. Uh, for the neon text effect so as you can see uh, the text fill has been selected in the advanced section and here I will select the color a little beyond white uh, one shade uh, darker than white so I will select that uh, we will select this effect a little later we will select the text border and as you can see since the color is already selected uh, it is also automatically getting highlighted over here so according to me the two of the main uh, colors that you can use are pink and blue so this one uh, or a little different shade of this blue not this shade uh, this shade will uh, suffice the uh, your need so once we are done with this what we'll do We'll increase the size of the border a little bit so that we get that bot neon effect and uh, how, what we'll do we'll also increase the blur of the text fill so we'll increase a little blur so it is not completely white so once we are done with this we'll go down and select the text shadow We'll select this as you can see the shadow is currently to a black color. What I will do, I will go here and select a lighter version of this pink. So as you can see, this gives a light pink in the background. So basically, as you can see, if the neon text is pink, the shadow it will create will also be pink. So that's the logic behind it. So you select this and uh, I would suggest you blur this uh, uh, completely so as you can see it will fade in uh, and in, you can also increase the distance but i would suggest don't increase it too much otherwise it will look like a 3d or something different effect so once we are done with this we'll, as you as i said you will go to the text effect and uh, you can select the effect from over here which you feel the most appropriate so this both according to me this one is the most appropriate so let us select that and uh, once you are done with this click on ok so click on ok as you can see the neon has been selected if you feel it is a little too much you can say change the text style again and go back to this one or uh, some other text type that you like okay let's keep this one 
and uh, as you saw in the intro video there was a flicker effect so i have already created a video on uh, flicker effect you can select check that out by clicking in the top right corner so i will be using a little different approach over creating a flicker effect in this video so what we'll do we'll copy this uh, text uh, we have created and we'll paste it over here and place this above over this text and what once you have placed this above just uh, drag it to one second and cut this over here the make sure you're uh, uh, splitting the text of uh, the top one text so once you have cut this what we'll do okay uh missed out one thing uh, before cutting let's me undo just undo this uh, before uh, cutting this we need to do a little changes in the top uh, text file so we'll go click on it and go to advanced and uh, here we will select we'll change the text border color to gray and uh, we will select the text fill color to white okay uh, we'll keep the background color as same it's uh, nothing much of a problem but if you still want it you can keep it uh, white or dark uh, we will keep it white okay so once this is done we can also increase decrease the size a little bit if you want uh, but it would be good if you keep the same and click on ok so click on ok so as you can see the top text is uh, gray so what we'll do we'll uh, cut split this image at one second and we will delete the rest part of this so click on it and click delete and uh, if we come over top of this as you can see you can just see the gray part so what we'll do first we will uncheck this uh, ripple edit and the auto ripple off and then what we'll do every by clicking on the arrows uh, in the keyboard i will um, uh, um, uh, what you can say I'm, I will uh, uh, go into every frame and I will cut in every frame so as you can see that below video is also selected so make sure you select the top video and cut over here then go to next frame cut so I will just fast forward this and we'll meet it uh, when I'm done with cutting all this and uh, remaining text so once you are done with uh, splitting this all the files into one frames what we'll do we'll select the middle frame and delete it so uh, we'll uh, delete the alternate frames so so as you can see we have deleted the alternate frame so what as you can see when i play this you can see a little uh, flicker happening over here so just just play this as you can see a uh, little flicker effect happening uh, so once you play this along with the uh, audio file that we have the sound effect that we have this will give an amazing effect so that's it guys with this video we have linked the audio file that i have used in this video in the below in, below in the description and also the link to the free pick website where you can get this uh, background images and some amazing images that we use on our channel so i hope you guys like it and um, we have some other more film more audio related tutorials in our channel so do check them out and if you like this video then do hit the subscribe button and do like this video and see you guys in another video till then see ya